Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Derek at nerdordie.com. I am proud to introduce you to our free social rotator widget for the Sticker Bomb Stream Package. If you head over to nerdordie.com, you can pick this up right now completely free just to download away and you can get it set up. It includes a lot of customizations that you can make to it to make it more appropriate for your stream, whether it's your colors, your font style, or even the icons and kind of overall style of the widget, you can change that with this very easily. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything that you need to know to do that and how to get it set up quickly and easily for Stream Elements or Streamlabs. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna show you that I have OBS over here on the left. And then on the right, I have a web browser with both Streamlabs and Stream Elements open because I wanna make sure you know how to install it for both, depending on the platform that you prefer. So once everything's downloaded and unzipped, you can go into the file that you have and you'll see a bunch of folders here. There's some GIFs that we'll talk about in just a bit later. And then we have this start here section that gives you any support links that you need and a uh, link to the actual text version of this guide. Then we also have the quick imports, which allow you to go ahead and install for stream elements and stream labs. And then you also have another setup guide just in case you need it. And we also have a font awesome icons link which I'll talk about again a bit later when we get into customization. And then we have the Streamlabs custom widget page, which again, I'll talk about as well. So let's get started on Stream Elements first. With Stream Elements, I'm just gonna go into the quick import section and then go into the Stream Elements folder. And then I'm gonna choose the platform that I wanna install it for. So I'm using Twitch. I'm just gonna drag this really quickly into Firefox, or you could just double click to install. And you'll see that if you're already logged into Stream Elements, you'll have this loaded right in. And then I can go into it by hitting edit. And then this is where I'll actually be able to customize my options. But let's get it set up inside of OBS right away. So I'm just gonna copy this URL up here, and this is gonna give me a link to the widget. And then OBS, I'm gonna go ahead and add a browser source, hit okay, and paste in that URL. And after that, you can see, okay, it's a bit cut off. That's no problem. We're gonna go back into the browser and I'm just gonna increase this width to something like 1200 and we'll see the full widget now. So that's how we get it installed quickly for Stream Elements, but of course we'll need to customize it, which I'll get into after I show you how we do it for Stream Labs. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and install it really quickly. So I'll go back to the folder that I downloaded here and in quick imports, I'll go to the Streamlabs page and then I'll make sure to just either double click or drag the link here for the quick setup into a web browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you'll see now that we have the option to import this into a current widget theme or to create a new one. I'm gonna just go ahead and create a new one since I don't have this installed yet. And then I'll click create. After it's done importing, I'm gonna click use for sticker bomb here, and then we'll see the custom widget page. Now, if you don't get taken to this page immediately, don't worry. Like I said, we included a link to the custom widget dashboard. So you can go ahead and open that in Chrome or whatever you're using, but it's just gonna take you to the same page here because it doesn't actually show up right now under all widgets for some people, and it should be added under all widgets sometime in the near future as Streamlabs is helping us out there and getting everything set up. So again, just like Stream Elements, we're gonna go ahead and copy this link. And then in OBS, I'm going to add a browser source. I'm gonna hit okay there and paste it in. And we're gonna see here it loads up, but it cut off just a bit. So I'll update the width here to 1200 and we'll see that it is now not cut off and it looks like it's working properly. So now that we have everything installed, we can take a better look into how to customize it for your stream and your socials, of course, because I don't think you guys wanna advertise Nerd or Die on your overlays. So we'll go ahead and talk about all the options now. It is time to customize. So in Streamlabs, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Basically in the custom field here, we have all the options that we need to get going. The first one's gonna be our delay settings section. And this is a very simple timer. So right now the social platforms will delay for just about five seconds and then kind of rotate onto the next one. 
So if you wanted it to be a minute, you could enter in 60 seconds or 10 minutes, we could go to 600 and so on. So I'm just gonna up this to six to give it a little bit longer. And my general rule of thumb is the faster it is, the potential of it being noticed more will be, but then it will also be more distracting. So it's really up to you to find that balance of kind of what you want and how you're gonna use this. So if you really wanted to stand out, make it a bit faster, you could do so. But if you have it on a gameplay side for your scene, then maybe you want it a bit slower and less annoying for your viewers during you know more gameplay focused um, times. So next we have the themes settings section. And basically you can set in your alignment for flipped or normal. You can change the bottom bar color, which is the yellow bar that you see here. So I'll just go ahead and update that to like a pink, just this like bright pink. And I'm gonna copy this for a bit later. And then next we have the icon selection. And right now we have the controller, but you can see we included in a uh, couple of different preset options. But if you select custom, then you can go ahead and select a video right here that you can upload. So right now we have this kind of spinning RGB Kappa. Moving on, we have the custom um, X and Y position for your image. So basically if your image is kind of offset in a weird way, you can adjust it left or right and up and down, um, allowing you to adjust it to make it look good for the image that you're using in particular. And then the last two things that we have here are different backgrounds. So we have a black background and a white background, and then you can select custom here. And then if you select custom, you can upload your own background that this will use here instead of this black kind of grungy GIF in the background here. So I'm just gonna leave that as is and go ahead and hit save. And then you'll see that now I have my pink with the RGB icon and the same background that I was using before. So I'm gonna go back to a different one. Let's go to, what's my favorite? I think the eye is pretty cool. So we'll move on now to the font settings. So this is of course where you're gonna adjust your font. We have a default font here, but if you don't like this font that we've selected for you, you can go ahead and hit no and then click this to load up literally anything from Google Fonts. I'll just pick a random one and this might be a bit dicey. We'll see how it ends out. And then you can change the font size, of course, the font color. So if I wanted to use that pink, I could just paste it in here. And then the font weight, which is just kind of the thickness or boldness of the font. So we can go down to like a medium or whatever you want. And then if we wanted everything in uppercase, we could change it here as well. Or you could just type in uppercase later on and kind of have more customization over that and how it displays. So let's click save here and just see um, how it looks. Okay, that font isn't too bad. Maybe I'd make it a little bit bigger or something like that, but it wasn't as, um, you know, bad of a decision as I thought it might be. Now, to show you how to switch out these icons, before I do that, I'm gonna go back to the default font just to make things a little bit easier here to see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and customize each of these social settings as needed. So you can see here, I could change this to something like your username or your at or whatever you wanna put in. So for now, I'm just gonna put in your username for a couple of these just to kind of drive the point home. And then the icon is what we really wanna change. So right now we see this Twitch icon here. And for the first one, we can see this code here that says FAB, FA dash Twitter. So what this is, is just a font awesome icon kind of code. So in the folder here, there is the font awesome icon link. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and bring it over. And then let's just go ahead and look through some of these. You can really kind of pick anything you want. So for example, let's just say you wanted to use a heart icon for some reason, and you really liked the heartbeat one. So what I need to do is actually grab here between the quotes and then hit copy. And then back in where I want this icon to appear, I'm gonna paste over everything. So I'll just go ahead and paste, and then I'm gonna hit save settings. And now once I save the settings, we'll see the icon with a heartbeat in it. And you can see here that I can also adjust that font color as well. So if for some reason I wanted it to be green or purple, red, whatever, you can go ahead and adjust that here. So you just need to do that for each one that you wanna use, make sure they're enabled or disabled and then just go through and set things up. And honestly, that's really it. After you hit save settings, everything's gonna be applied over to your widget automatically. You won't have to worry about changing out anything else and you can go from there. And also let's say you don't like the icons at all. 
you could just delete them and go ahead and just put that in. Let's say you just wanted to show some other random information, like don't forget to Twitch Prime or whatever it is. You can do that also. I hope this helps you get set up with this social rotator widget. It's something we're really proud of, especially that we're able to offer it for free. This is all done via the support of the nerdordie.com store. So thank you all for checking that out. And as always, thank you just so much for watching any of these videos. We really appreciate it. Leave any questions you might have in the comments below. Let us know if there's anything that you have issues with, any suggestions you'd like to see, anything like that. We will see you next time. All right, take care. Bye.